and a Fox News alert to begin happening now on Hurricane Sandy. That storm already slamming Cuba. Now we have brand new tracking, which shows where this massive system might be headed next. And it is not good news for those who live in the northeastern United States. Janice Dean has the latest from the Extreme Weather Center. What's going on, J.D.? If this track comes true, it is the worst case scenario, John. Now, we still have days to go and a lot of information to kind of input into this tracking. But right now, this storm looks like it's going to be headed for millions of people. It's going to be a transitioning system, meaning that perfect storm type scenario, a tropical storm that transitions into an extra tropical storm because a cold front, a very powerful Arctic cold front is going to interact with the system and draw it in towards the Northeast, a very rare meteorological situation. So uh, this could be historic, folks. If you live across the East Coast from the Mid-Atlantic up to Maine and Eastern Canada, Canada, you need to be paying very, very close attention to your local forecast. Still a Category 2. We just got the 11 o'clock advisory. It was a Category 3 major hurricane overnight, so it rapidly intensified within hours. Take a look at the latest track. As you can see, Category 2 moving through the Bahamas. It hugs the coast Friday into Saturday, but look at what happens as we head into early next week. The worst case scenario right now, moving right into millions upon millions of people. And this could cause extensive catastrophic damage. I'm not just standing here making this stuff up. I want people to really pay attention to this because, again, this could be worst case scenario. At any rate, we're dealing with high seas, rip currents, beach erosion, coastal flooding, certainly storm surge as this storm moves on shore. The exact point or location where it's going to move on shore still not known yet and the exact strength still not known yet. But we are going to see torrential rain and flooding inland. High winds, 60, 80 miles per hour, significant power outages that could last for weeks for millions of people and downed trees. John, we've still got foliage on the trees and winds in excess of 60, 70, 80 miles per hour is going to cause extensive, extensive damage. I just want to show you one of our uh, reliable forecast models. It is really becoming apparent that we are going to be dealing with a system that is going to come on shore again anywhere from the mid-Atlantic towards Maine need to be paying attention. But John, I, my, our mouths dropped at the latest tracking that shows the system going right into New York City. Uh, obviously, you know, we've got days ahead to really hone in and get this forecast right. But people need to be paying attention. We do think that this storm is going to come on shore and it's going to cause a lot of of damage. And it's a big broad storm too. So even as it skirts up the coast, it's going to be dumping a lot of rain and wind be on people. Because it's transitioning into you know you know the movie The Perfect Storm? Mm. It's it's a transitioning storm from a tropical to an extra tropical. And what that means is the wind span is going to be greater. Winds tropical storm force winds extending 300 400 miles from the center of the storm. Wow. It's going to be a battering battering storm affecting one of the you know the largest city in the yeah. nation. Wow, Janice Dean, thank you. And I know you'll have more on that throughout the hour. Thank okay. you, Janice. You bet.